All right, hi guys, I am back. This is my um, second video I've done today. Well, actually it's my third video I've done today. Um, I did record an eye tutorial um, earlier, but it messed up. So anyway, um, this is going to be kind of like a hair care video. Um, now I get a lot of people telling me that I have really pretty hair. It's really shiny, really healthy. It looks pretty fake. My hair is actually pretty long. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you it's curled right now so it does appear a tad bit shorter than what it usually is but it it's pretty long here's my little curls hanging down it goes like to my boob area kinda so um so anyway um this video is going to be like how i take care of my hair what i do to my hair now there's several different ways that i style my hair um so to begin with of course, you want to make sure that you're, you know, you take good care of your hair and you clean it very well. You clean it, um, you use a good shampoo, and you use a good conditioner. Now, um, every day, you know, on a normal basis, I um, wash my hair with either, I either use the Tresemme uh, moisturizing shampoo, or um, right now I'm using the Aussie. Um, this is the Sydney Smooth moisturizing shampoo. Um, but it also has like moisturizing, um, supplements in it, but I just use the smoothing, um, shampoo in Aussie because it's not like, it doesn't majorly do anything. It just keeps my hair nice and moisturized. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm using right now. And, um, then of course you're going to want to have a good conditioner. Now I always, 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 I either use the, the hair products that I use are either um, like from the from Walmart or the drugstore or whatever the only two hair products that I use are Trust Me or Aussie. Um, now I do use some higher end hair products too which I'll get to in a second um, and then I just use the Trust Me um, this is wet so it's stripping on me because I just pulled it out of the shower and this is just the moisture rich um, conditioner and it's got it says for dry or damaged hair and it's got vitamin E in it. So now I do want to stress to you guys that if you're using moisturizing shampoo, moisturizing conditioner, you don't want to use a ton of conditioner, especially if you have long hair, you only want to use it on the ends because if you don't get it washed out well or if you tend to use too much of it, it will make the top of your hair look greasy or even the bottom if you use too much. Um, and for all of my hair, I just use maybe like a, a quarter sized amount for the bottom of my hair. Um, now on some days, I mean, Someday I go through phases. Now, like I said, right now I'm using the Aussie, but maybe every day I'll switch. Um, every other day I'll switch and I'll use the uh, John Frieda collection. And this is the Brilliant Brunette and it's wet, so it's stripping all down me and it has a ponytail holder on it. But um, this is just the Brilliant Brunette and it's supposed to um, bring out natural highlights for multi-dimensional shine. Now, I really like this. I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes my hair look. But, um, and it's pretty cheap, it's not expensive, but it doesn't last very long. So, um, I don't use this every single day. I only use it a couple of times a week because I like to uh, make my products last. You know, because versus the Aussie shampoo versus the John Frieda, they're about the same price and look how much more I get in the Aussie. So, I'm not, I'm not complaining that this is expensive. I'm just saying um, that it's more expensive than, um, you know, it's more expensive than this pretty much because you're not getting as much product um let me see in how does it say okay here in the aussie is one full liter or 33.8 full ounces so fluid ounces i mean i'm sorry and um in the john frieda i've got 8.45 fluid ounces so there you go little idea there okay now i also like to um clarify my hair once a week to once every two weeks depending now i'm going to stress to you guys it's not good to use a st stripping shampoo or a clarifying shampoo every single day and most of the time you know when a shampoo is clarifying because it will be green um now i like to use because i use the moisturizing shampoo i use the moisturizing conditioner and as i will get to in a minute i use a lot of products on my hair pretty much on an everyday basis. So I like to use a clarifying shampoo just to kind of um, get rid of any buildup. Um, also a little homemade remedy trick is you can use a little bit of baking soda mixed in with your shampoo. That's supposed to get rid of buildup too. 
but um, I just find that I like using the clarifying shampoo. Now, the one I use is the Tresemme one, and this is just deep clean, d deep cleansing shampoo. And it's got the little green label here, and it says for all hair types, got vitamin C in it, and um, pretty much what it does is it removes buildup and heavy residue for those loading on the styling products. Any anything like heavy waxes, pomades, creams, sprays, gels, mousses, whatever. Now it says on the bottle to use once a week or as needed for deep cleansing or every day for extreme buildup. It's clarifying formula with vitamin C and extra, extracts of grapefruit and lemon thoroughly polishes the hair. Now, I, like it says on the bottle, you definitely don't need to use this every day. Now if you've got like, maybe say you're going swimming and you don't have a chlorine shampoo and you want to use this, um, go ahead and use it like twice to get the chlorine out of your hair really well. But if you're just trying to get like everyday products out, you're not going to want to use this every day. You're only going to want to use it once a week. And for me, sometimes if I don't feel like my hair needs it once a week, I'll use it once every two weeks or like once every 10 days or something like that. So, um, but it definitely does work. And the shampoo is like a green color. Okay, now um, the next few products that I have here um, are like, oh, kind of like things that I pretty much use on my hair every single day. Um, now, not every day I blow my hair dry because if I'm not going somewhere that day, I don't like to blow my hair dry because, you know, it's bad for your hair. But when I do blow my hair dry, I you always want to use the heat protectant. And I use the Tresemme um, Heat Tamer Spray. And pretty much, um, this is just your basic heat um, protectant. And you can use it w if you're using a blow dryer, straightener, curling iron, it doesn't matter. Um, so you just spray this on your hair when it's damp and you're good to go for the blow dryer. And then I also, once my hair is dry, whatever I'm doing, straightening, curling, I like to spray a little bit of this on the ends of my hair to protect it from the straightener or the curling iron, whichever I'm using. Now, um, once I've completed my straight, you know, my straightening and my curling or whatever I'm wanting to do that day, I always, always, always use the bedhead. Um, after party, which is just a smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. And it smells so good. I love it. And you just need a little tiny bit because you are going, or at least I apply it to the top of my hair to get my frizzies to go down. So if you apply too much, it's going to look greasy up here, which I do have it on right now. And then I like to run it through, uh, you know, whatever's left over on my fingers through the rest of my hair to kind of tame down the frizz a little bit. I rarely use hairspray. My hair holds curl fantastically so I don't use hairspray the only time I use a hairspray is when like I'm doing an updo or something like that now um, if I don't use mousse very often but when I do use mousse like if I want to do a scrunch look or something I will use once again the Tresemme weightless body it's extra hold and uh, pretty much what this does is it just it doesn't make your hair weigh down and it doesn't make your hair look wet so it's a great product if you're into mousse. Now, last but definitely not least product that I am going to talk about is the Aussie Stretch Spray. Now, what this is, is kind of like a wet hairspray. And when I use this, it's just when I'm in a hurry, I get out of the shower and my hair is naturally wavy. All I do is I just towel dry it. I spray this on the ends of my hair. I scrunch it like this, or I scrunch it, I'm sorry, like this. This is called scrunch. That's why I said scrunch it. But you just kind of scrunch the ends of your hairs like this once you spray it on. And then sometimes I will run um, the blow dryer through my hair a little bit just to make it not dripping wet. Um, or you can use like a diffuser on the end of your blow dryer so that um, you can get all the curl and body that you want. But this is fabulous. I absolutely love it. I went through, this is already my second bottle of this. So yeah, this is great. And then um, one more item that I actually forgot, it's in my bathroom, but um, I don't want to run in there and get it, is just um, a leave-in conditioner, especially if you've got dry hair like me. I just use the Aussie one. It looks just like this bottle, only it's a tad bit shorter, and it says um, three-in-one or moisture repair or something like that. Um, I'll throw it in one of my videos, and it's just a basic leave-in conditioner. You spray it on your damp hair, and it works great. So um, I hope this helped you guys a little bit. Um, go ahead and check out my channel for more um, beauty and makeup videos and go ahead and subscribe if um, you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.